Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. It is Friday so we are going to be ending the week up sadly with this team that we've been playing for the last couple of weeks on the channel. If you've missed any of the games so far and you'd like to see the progress of this team up to this point before we get into today's episode, I will link a card up there for you. You can check it out, come back to this one after you've watched those episodes. Or if you'd just like to stick around and watch today's episode then that is super fine the team as always is down in the description below there's a ball paste and a polka paste for you guys to check out try out if you'd like to we've not had the best of times over the last couple of days so hopefully we can give the team a really good send off today we've really highlighted some areas of the team that have been core cool, that were quite weak against uh, definitely gravity hypnosis uh, sleep spam in lots of respects, uh, that kind of variant of teams were very susceptible to that. And uh, that's been highlighted these last couple of days. So fingers crossed we don't bump into any of that today because we've made no changes to adapt the team to that kind of strategy to help us overcome that. But at the same time, one of the things we did say when we've been playing these teams, it's good to be able to highlight these issues because that's how we make the team better going forward. And that's what you've got to always remember with your teams when you're practicing on the ladder and things like that. These times this practice the, when you're playing on the ladder it doesn't matter too much because this is where you're polishing the team making it that refined article for when you go into tournaments so it's just about not getting too down about it and just making sure that you're learning and taking the team forward it's always a positive always a positive to take out of anything but just to recap the team before we get into today's episode as i said is down in the description but we've got the minetric we've got the the mega of the team we've got lunala z move user primal kyoga scoff type lele Psychic Seed Cortana, which has been probably one of the MVPs from me personally of this team. I do love it a lot. I think it's been incredibly good, incredibly strong. We've not brought it so much, but when we have, it has done a really good job majority of the time. And then that Hydreigon with the Focus Sash. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Let's make sure that we can get some wins today. I'm going to switch over to our, our record screen. Because I know you guys appreciate seeing a uh, record with just above 1700. So far from 1800, which I, I had these heavy heights of us doing this with the team, but never mind. We can try again next week with our new one. Uh, we'll kick off with Necrozma version 2 today, and we've got our first opponent straight away. So we'll get a straight into team preview. Oh, it's a rematch. It's a rematch from from Wednesday where we we highlighted the initial weakness of our team so early on. Oh, this is really, really, really difficult for us to deal with. Um, hmm. Because one of the things this team does is that it does have that gravity hypnosis, which we are very susceptible to. Now, can we overcome it in today's episode? That is going to be the big thing. I think if we can, that would be, be so huge for us. Now, one of the things we could do is lead with both of our Tailwind setters because I think if we can get our Tailwind set up, it will make such a huge difference for us going forward in this match. I think uh, leading Lunala and Hydreigon, it's only going to prevent our opponent from being able to... They can only Hypnosis one target and we can, we can try and play around it um, and definitely get our Tailwind set up with the other one. So we will try this. We will definitely try this. Um, one of the things we could potentially do is lead Tapu Lele out, go for the taunt into the drift limb to stop any potential further hypnosis, try and get a tailwind set up. Um, and then go Lunala Kyogre in the back, which I think are probably the two things. And I think one of the things we did highlight uh, on Wednesday was the need for Hydreigon in that match. So we'll go with these and we'll click into the first. And we'll see how we get on against this team again today. This is like the best of three, but this is one thing that I did say at the time. I think it's just a, a strategy that we have very little to help, like to deal with in, our, in respect to our team. So it does become very hard, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I think leading with double tailwind gives us a good chance to try. Uh, well, we're not leading with it actually. Um, yeah, well, maybe leading with it would have been better. Because one of the things we could attempt to do is where my opponent potentially tries to gravity hypnosis. I mean, if the Lele goes for the gravity, it's locked into gravity, so that gives us a bit of room. Um, we'll Tailwind, and we will go for... Do we just attack into the Drift Blim? 
That's the thing. Do we taunt it or do we attack into it? I would prefer to attack into it, to be honest. Um, I'm going to just Moonblast into the Drift Blim here. Because just removing it from the field, there's the gravity. So we know the Lily's got to switch out this next turn. If they put the Hydreigon to sleep, that's fine. Um, if not, then we get the Tailwind up. Hypnosis. Yeah, we're going for that one. So we are going to get this Moonblast off. Now, the, the Drift Blim can put our Lele to sleep this next turn, but it will give us a turn to potentially set up a Tailwind, and we can get another Moonblast into this Drift Blim slot, and we do get the special attack drop on that slot as well, which is really useful for us. Now, what we can do, because we know the Lele's got to switch out this next turn, is go for a Tailwind again with our uh, Hydreigon, and we can go for a... A Moonblast into the Lele, which will probably be the Mewtwo coming in there, so we can maybe get some damage onto that, which would be which would be super useful. If Hydreigon can wake up this turn, this next turn, it will be I mean massive for us. Oh, it's Groudon coming in. Okay. With the gravity set up, it's going to be pretty pretty difficult to deal with. Uh, we need this Tailwind. We need the Tailwind more than anything. I feel now. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, Moonblast not really going to be doing too much to Groudon. We'll probably see Hypnosis yet into the Lele here. The spam is starting. Now, can we? Can we wake up with Hydreigon? Come on, Hydreigon, wake up. Come on, Hydreigon. Go three heads. Oh. We really don't want all of these turns of sleep. So, we'll have to try for the Tailwind once again. And, um, hmm. One Moonblast into the Drift Bloom. I don't want to make any switches here because we just don't want to, to be switching around too much. The, the problem would be the Drift Blim going for the Tailwind now. And then the Precipice Blade's coming out, which is going to do a good chunk of damage. Lele staying asleep, of course. <sighs> My drink is staying asleep. Come on. Precipice Blades. <sighs> It's like the worst. It's the worst. It's just, hmm. Maybe double, double tailwind was the way to go. Really, here I don't. I really don't know. It's just I don't feel like we've got too many ways around everything now. We've got the Lunala in the back that can come in. It's got wide guard. We'll lose Lele here for sure. Hydreigon does finally wake up. It's a bit too late though. Uh, these sleep turns are, are really punishing. Shadow Ball into that slot. Uh, Lele, unfortunately, doesn't wake up. We needed it too, just to get some extra damage. And then there's another Precipice Blades from the Groudon. Under the gravity, it's obviously not going to miss. <clears throat> and now we've got Lunala onto the field. And as we've got Wide Guard, it's our only way of kind of protecting. The thing is, with the, the Drip Blim, it probably goes for it probably goes for the Hypnosis into the Hydreigon again, which we can't really do too much about. Um, we can, I mean, we can Wide Guard with Lunala to get around the Precipice Blade damage, but there's not really too much getting around the the Hypnosis from this Drip Blim, unless it goes for the Lunala. Yeah, which it does. Okay. This might... This might help us come back in this match. I don't really feel like it will. Uh, it's about whether or not a dog post can then take down this this drift in this next turn. <sighs> but we've got to stall out their tailwind. So the gravity does disappear. Okay, we've got that going for us. So um, they've got one turn of tailwind left. So we want to protect on this one, and we want to try and get our Kyogre onto the field. And hope that hope that the drift limb doesn't go for the hypnosis into that lunar slot, and hope it goes for a hypnosis into the hydreigon. If we can get Kyogre in, and Precipice Blades misses, then we are in a decent position to go forward here because we can remove the drift limb. We can do damage on whatever incomes comes in for the ground on the, the following turn, and then we're still in. We're still in Tailwind, so we can switch things around still and win the Weather War in the end and hopefully have enough in the tank to kind of close this match up. The Lunala being asleep, though, does really put limitations on how we're going to be able to close this match up, though. So 
We'll get Kyle going. It's going to be about well, how much damage we take though from this this Groudon. But the Groudon hmm, definitely won't go Fire Punch. Gnosis. Yeah, there we go. And miss, 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 miss. Come on, miss. Never misses when you want it to miss. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, we are in a decent position now because we can go Dog Pulse into the Drift Limb and we can go Water Spout. <clears throat> and we are going to be in Tailwind. And this is where we need to try and take and keep an advantage. The Groudon definitely switches out here. Just Lunala wasn't asleep. That would be the one thing. That would be super good. Groudon switches out. How much damage are you going to do to the type of Lele? <sighs> Not too sure. We should take the Drift Blim down with a Dark Pulse. And we probably put the Lele into Dark Pulse range. Maybe into Dark Pulse range. But oh, we don't actually. Oh, but we get the flinch. That is so huge for us. That is massive because they go for the Tailwind there. So we do get a bit of luck. We needed that bit of luck. Lele probably in Dark Pulse range. You've got to imagine it is. Yeah, I'd say it is. Uh, Groudon probably comes back in there. Oh, it's going to be Mewtwo. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Are we just water... Sp uh, we don't want to get trapped into this water spout shenanigan because this is where the Groudon comes in, isn't it? I'm going to Dog Pulse the Lele for sure, and I'm going to switch Kyogre out to Lunala. I've got a funny feeling that the Groudon comes back in, and I think the Lele probably tries to go for the Gravity. I think they're trying to bait us in with this Mewtwo. I really do. I think they need the Gravity up. Obviously Mewtwo's got attacks like Focus Blast, etc. Uh, the Mewtwo feels very threatened now as well. Because of our tailwind, so you've got to think like the the Lele is the one thing that can't protect. So we're pretty safe targeting into that slot. So we either take down the Lele, or we do a good chunk to the Groudon when it comes in, and then we should lock the Weather Wall. There's not too many turns of this Psychic Terrain left, I don't think. So once that runs out, the Mewtwo becomes way less impact, like way less impactful. Mewtwo does protect. Okay, so it's just about the stock pulse. Can we take down the, the Lele, which I'm hoping we can do? Yep, okay. And then we should have one turn of Tailwind left. Oh no, our Tailwind pick us out. I'm glad I'm going to come back in. It's about Lunala. How long, how long can Lunala stay asleep for? I mean, if we can get a Tailwind up with Hydreigon. I feel like they need to attack into that slot. Tailwind. Should we try and wide guard? I think we try and wide guard here. We also get the priority jump on everything, so it's kind of trying to cut down our sleep turns a little bit. A little bit. So, oh, staying asleep with Lunala. I think that's the first turn, so that's that makes sense. Focus Blast. Oh, come on. Really? done for because now the precipice blades breaks our shadow shield the mewtwo's got shadow ball focus blast out of gravity <sighs> it's so frustrating question is where do you where do you kind of concentrate down on now do you concentrate down on the lunala it's asleep do you take a gamble and allow it to wake up and us get a tailwind up I feel like if you're my opponent, you target down the Kyogre. I'm going to try and Tailwind. If we can get a Tailwind here, if Lunala can wake up and Tailwind, then we're back in back in the money. And the, the Mewtwo has to target down the Kyogre, though, for this to work. Nah. That's not going to no. So, yeah, we would have yeah, we would have had to have scalded the Groudon, and then we would have had to have outspeeded it, which I don't think we're going to be, we're going to be able to do. Uh, psychic terrain doesn't end just yet. It's got one more turn, I think. And once again, we lose to this core. Uh, oh, 
This is this is frustrating, isn't it? So sad. Uh, yeah. I mean, just just highlighting uncategorically. If we didn't know already from like the last two days that uh, we had a weakness to this um, to this kind of strategy, bumping into it again. So very good game to my opponent once again, and it just kind of shows that we, we just don't have the answers to this sort of team. Um, leading maybe with the double tailwind would have helped us out, but even then, it's difficult because we lead double tailwind, yeah, we get the wind off, they've got something asleep, and we can potentially get an attack off High Dragon or Lunala the next turn, but one of them will be asleep, uh, and maybe that's a way to go, because then it, the problem with that is what I'm thinking, is I don't really want to have to be switching in Kyogre prematurely to a Groudon coming in, which we would be doing if we got a Tailwind up, and then we use the Weather War instantly, like they switched out the Lele next turn, which they had to for the Groudon, and then when they do that, we kind of lose out uh, the Weather War there, and it puts us in a really detrimental position. So maybe leading how we did, I don't know. It It's just really, it's just a really difficult matchup, really difficult, but... I'm hoping that we can find another opponent and not have this sort of build to play this next team. It would be nice. It would be nice. We've highlighted the issue. <laughs> we don't need to keep reminding ourselves of it. Ah, uh, come on. And we want to we wanna win to send this team off. So we've got our next opponent, 1675 rated player from Japan. Um, and we've not. We've got a, another QR code team, but we'll get straight into team preview to look at this one. So your very standard X-ray kind of build, got Incineroar there with the Fake Out, Intimidate support, Pivot support, we got Tapu Fini with the Terrain support, Icy Wind support for Speed Control, which is going to be really the only sort of Speed Control you're going to see on the team. Got Amoongus, which helps out with Redirection, obviously a Trick Room, check for opposing Trick Room threats, and then the Landorus there, going to be another ground immunity to the team in general, does offer ground type attacks, probably holding that Z move as well, the Tectonic Rage, something we need to watch out for for then the Rayquaza. It could be a combination of anything from Banded to Sashed to Assault Vest and then the Xerneas which we know all too well. So I think we will utilize Tapu Lele in this match for sure. It is very good against things like Rayquaza um, and for shutting things down with Taunt as well but whether or not we want to lead with it is another thing. I always like the idea of leading Lunala Kyogre here. We've got access to Tailwind, we've got access to um, then switching in Atapu Lele for what I would expect maybe my opponent leading off with Tapu Fini to disrupt our terrain for sure. It's whether or not we want Cortana in this match or do we want Minetric because the Intimidate support is really quite useful but I just feel in these sort of games and you look at the composition of the team, the Cortana is just really strong. So we'll get into this next one. I'm hoping that we can have a victory here today. A victory. The last couple of days have been brutal. Like, brutal. I think we've, yeah, we lost two yesterday. Uh, we won one, lost one Wednesday. And then we've lost one, which is the same one that we lost to on Wednesday in today's one. Not so good. From where we were, in a position of a really nice position with the team. But it's down to what we play in, and obviously holes in the team being highlighted. So we've got no one to blame but ourselves. But it's fine, it's fine. We're going to see Rayquaza, and we're going to see Tapu Fini come out for my opponent. We're going to see the Mr. Terrain set up. We will activate our Primal Evolution with Kyogre. And I wonder what we're going to be best going for here if we do bring in... Hmm. So I want to bring in Tapu Lele, but I don't know if I want to bring it in yet. Because we could just Tailwind. I'd imagine we'll see an Icy Wind come out from the Tapu Fini. That would be my best guess. Um, just we could Psy Shock. Are we better just going for the Tailwind here? It's just if we... Hmm. Yeah, I think we are. It's just I don't want to see the Rayquaza. I don't want to see the Ray come in. 
go for a dragon, like a, go for a protect, and then the Tapu Fini go for the Icy Wind, and then us be not in a great position with Tapu Lele the next turn. I think we need to try and keep that momentum with a Tapu Lele when we bring it onto the field to make sure that we are faster than that Rayquaza. And if there is a play where my opponent could go for um, the protect and the Icy Wind just to break the Shadow Shield on the Lunala more than the Kyogre, you're not really worried too much about the Kyogre. Um, and doing this as well allows us to get Kyogre in in a Tailwind, which puts a bit of more pressure onto that Rayquaza in the end game. So we are going to see Rayquaza. The likelihood is it could drag an Ascent into that Kyogre slot as well. Let's go for a Crunch though. Um, wow, that's insane. Takes us down to 1 H. Imaginary Sash there through Shadow Shield. It's banded for sure. And there's a light screen. Okay. It's definitely banded, Ray. Uh, what comes in for the Rayquaza it's probably going to be Incineroar you've got to imagine do we keep Lunala around for later yeah I'm going to do that and I'm going to going to bring Kyogre in do I taunt the Finny hmm or do I just Psychic it Moonblast. I'm just gonna psychic the Finny. I think the rare switch is out here though. I don't want to keep Lunala in because it's it's one of those things where the ray can switch out and we can see an icy wind from the Tapu Finny and it will be enough to take us down. We don't really want to just lose Lunala just yet. There's the ray switching out. And Moong is coming in. So good job that we locked into Psychic as well. I'm gonna see Psychic into the Tapu Fini, obviously the light screen helping out loads here, there's the Icy Wind that we did expect to come out, um, and the Amoongus hasn't got Protect, that's the thing, but a Psychic under Terrain and a Water Spout should still be enough to take it down, I'd imagine, and then that's exactly what I'm going to go for here, just want to chase down the Amoongus if I can. Psychic, Water Spout, it should be enough, it should be enough. It's just whether or not the Amoongus has got a berry. If it's got a berry, it could be a little bit problematic because with the light screen it might just hang on. Okay, Amoongus going to switch out, it's coming in. Requires a, I don't mind this at all. Like, I really, like, I completely don't mind this. Uh, taking a Psychic. <coughs> and even if you go for another Icy Wind, we're still going to be outspeeding. Uh, and this water spout should put it in range for another psychic the next turn. It, yeah, and it can't go for extreme speed because of our psychic terrain. Heal pulse is the one thing that could put us in a little bit of an awkward position for sure. Um, hmm. Right, that is awkward. Can we just go ice beam? And can we go? It is banded ray though, isn't it? That's the problem. That is the problem. Um. Where do you chase down if you're the Rayquaza? I'm going to bring in Lunala here. I feel like you chase down the Lele though. That's the thing. Do you? I don't know if you do. Do you chase down the Lele? Or the Kyogre? Hmm. Probably better to get weather control. Oh, we've got to be quick. We've got to be quick. Yeah, and our Lele, it doesn't matter what we lock into. It's just about... Because uh, we, we're scoffed, so it doesn't matter. Rick was going to switch straight back out, though. That's interesting. <clears throat> and Amoongus come back in. So, Psychic locking into that slot. Uh, even if... Uh, we'll probably lose Lunala here to an Icy Wind. Oh, we get the Psychic. We don't lock into the slot that we wanted. Ah, uh, that's a bit frustrating. But... <coughs> that just that's just us being faffing around. Heal pulse into the Amoongus and Tim and Pet is out. The Amoongus is gonna feel really threatened here though, because we can Psy Shock or Z move into that slot. Um it's just it's the light screen. It's got one more turn left. Hmm. I'm gonna Psy Shock there and I'm gonna bring in do I bring in Cotana now? Is it better to bring in Cotana now? I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. 
Or do we just tailwind? It's probably better to tailwind. And then bring in Cortana for Lele. Activate our Psychic Seed while we've got the opportunity to. Get a tailwind up while we've got the opportunity to. And hope we see the Amoongus go for a spawn maybe into the Cortana slot. I might see an icy wind. Yeah, we do. Okay. And a spore, I'd imagine. Yeah, but we're in a good position now. We get Tapu Lele in and um, get a terrain back up onto the field. And we've still got the Psychic now. So we can check the Finny. We can go for the Psychic into the Amoongus. And as long as it's not sashed, we should take it down with the Psychic. And we'll definitely take the Finny down with the Leaf Blade. And I think, I don't think my opponent's got Incineroar. I think they've got the Xerneas in the back. We can get one Beast Boost. We know the Rayquaza coming in. It will go down to a double target attack from both Cortana and Lele. I just can't afford to lock into Moonblast now, obviously. We've got to use Psychic. Uh, the only reason why I wouldn't want to use Psychic I would be if I thought Incineroar would be in the back. Uh, it's a nice switching, but I think we would have seen it by now if it was. And especially with Cortana coming out into the field like it is now, I think this is a prime time for, for Incineroar to come in. So if no Incineroar comes in now, I just think it's going to be Xerneas in the back. Hopefully this takes this among us down. It should do. Oh, it's sashed among us. This totally scuppers our plans completely. We are going to be able to get the Finny. Uh, we get a Beast Boost as well. But our Lele is going to be put to sleep by a Spore. Yeah. And there's not really too much we can do about it. Now, Ray comes in. It's whether or not a Smart Strike will be enough to take down the Ray. I don't know if it would be. I really don't. I don't think we're going to be able to. I really don't think we're going to be able to. You've got to chase down the Cortana though. So I think a play that we could potentially do is go Psychic into the Rayquaza. And just detect with Cortana here. Because I think you go Dragon Ascent into Cart. That's the one thing that you're, that's kind of restricting your ability to bring in Xerneas right now. So I, I feel like that's the one thing that you do chase down. Unless you just want the free KO onto the Lele, but then that does give us a free switch to Kyogre, which I don't think you want to do. Um, ooh, far play. Wow, okay. We've got to go Psychic and Smart Strike. I mean, we've got to go for it. We've got to try and Smart Strike into the Rayquaza. And hopefully Lele wakes up. Come on, we've had some bad rolls with these sleep turns. Ah, oh, we're going to see the Rage Powder. And it's going to pull our Psychic away. So regardless if we wake up or not, which we don't, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. Smart Strike. Is it going to be enough at plus one? I don't know if it is. It's very close. It's very close indeed. Indeedy. It's locked in. Um, we might not be in the worst position uh, because we get Kyogre in now. As long as our Lele wakes up this next turn, but then we can't get around the uh, we can't get it around the Rage Powder. Yeah. Hmm. And I think we have the Ice Beam. Have the Ice Beam, have the Psychic. I think it's done. I think I don't I think we've got enough to deal with the, the Xerneas now when it comes onto the field. So I feel like we see Rage Powder. Yeah. Pulls the Psychic if we wake up. We probably will then lose Lele. Oh, which we just stay asleep. I mean, Kyogre takes this. Wow. 
we don't actually take that. That's insane. I re that must be a high roll. But the game's done now. It's done, it's done, it's done. Uh, and sleep again. Been a downfall, a pitfall in all of this, which is very sad. Because Lele wakes up now, but we do get put to sleep by the Amoongus. Sash the Amoongus coming in, super clutch for my opponent, doing all the work that it needs to there. Banded Ray, just showing how dominant it can be. Uh, I don't know what to say other than we've got a real issue with sleep on our team. And especially when you get max sleep turns, like we've had a few days this week when we've been put to sleep, like max turns, it's never... it's. It just makes it even worse, doesn't it? So just highlighting the fact even further that, that we have huge issues here. Dazzling Gleam would be something nice on Lele, especially for this situation, because then we could dazzle here. But then doesn't really alleviate our ability to deal with the Xerneas that's potentially in the back. So good game to my opponent. Sad, sad, sad end to the week with this team. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, it looked all, all like everything was going super well. But then we've had just really bad run of teams I think that are really hard for this team to to match up against very well and we've just been highlighted by over and over again by how hard sleep kind of counters this team and just not having the tools necessary to deal with it so that is something to definitely take on board going going into the future but we are going to be saying goodbye to this team it is a little bit sad um but we've got a lot of things to take forward positives to take forward with the team and we'll be back on Monday with a brand new team so in light of that guys do get your comments in down below suggest what you'd like to see for our kind of a final kind of standard week of play and um, before we move into the the roulette and i'll be putting a, a post up on monday to get the comments started for what you'd like to see nominated onto the road for rank roulette wheel that we'll be doing next a week a week today i guess so thank you so much for tuning in guys have an amazing weekend whatever you're up to um Sorry that we couldn't get the wins out today. Just that's Pokemon sometimes. We just got to keep our chins up and take away the positives from it and move forward because that's all you can do for improving with things. And we've highlighted those areas that we need to improve in the team. And if we can do that, it makes the team even stronger, doesn't it? So I'll be going back, going over these episodes for sure. And then, as I say, I'll probably bring this team onto a stream all revamped and redone to tackle these sort of issues in the future so until then guys thank you so much for tuning in i will catch you again on monday with a brand new team and until then take care and bye bye